Ladies and gentlemen, we are straight up going gangster, boys. Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And this is a good guy right here, Captain Russell Keflinger. He's world famous tarpon guy. Oh! Down here in Miami. That is Clinton Doyle. A lot of you guys know Jordan on the channel. Jordan is one of my best little buddies. That's his dad. We've been talking about tarpon fishing for quite some time. And I knew that when we went, we were gonna go with, with Russ here. I guess we got enough shrimp. I got 400 in there, though. 400 shrimp. I'm gonna tell you right now, if the tarpon don't bite, I will. I will cook up them shrimp so fast to make your head spin. That's pretty slick. That's a pretty slick process you got going on there. Yeah, it works. Whoa. Beans by Dim's really. So that's what we're looking at. This represents the bottom, and you can see that drop off there. All those marks are tarpon. That's what we're looking for. So this is about as easy as it gets. The hardest part here is understanding tide and understanding where the fish are. That's where Captain Ross comes in. But whenever he showed me the rig, I was like, holy cow, that's so simple. All we're using is a little owner circle hook. What's that, a five-aught, six-aught? Then we're using 40 pound test, 40 pound test fluorocarbon with a little loop knot. That loop knot's just gonna allow that shrimp to look as natural as possible. Then, this little Shimano Saragossa, see if we can't get tight. It's really cool getting to travel around and meet fishermen from all over. There's millions of people down here in Dade County, and even when there's millions of people, there's millions of fish. You come down and take a guy like Captain Russ here who's really specialized in locating and catching these fish. It's just, you can learn so much. A lot of guys will go out on a charter like this and just wanna want to fish. I want to come out on a charter like this and learn as much as I possibly can, which is kind of what I've done all over the world. Everywhere I go, I try to pick up bits and pieces all along the way. So we just marked some fish over here. We're looking at the side scan sonar. We saw some fish out here to the port and starboard side of the boat. So we pitched out a bait. So much anticipation in this. We're marking them on the machine and then casting to them. It's one of the most incredible bites you'll ever feel. Turning my hat around backwards. I'm in full ninja mode. We just came inside the inlet here and uh, put them out. Immediately we missed one. Oh, oh, just lost him right there. Now Clinton's hooked up. And he's never caught a tarpon in his whole life. There's yeah. a leader, wind down, wind down. Real got him. Walk forward. Look Walk beautiful the fish. Hard right. Keep away from the boat. Come and catch. They're such beautiful fish. Hey Clint, you know the good thing about this is this is just a small one. Go to free spool on him. Go to free spool and put him right in the, in the rod holder. 
grab them right in the middle. These look well, eh? Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. You want to hold it by the mouth here? Hold on tight. He's going to shake. Oh, what a beautiful fish, man. Go back there. Nice. How long have you been wanting to catch a tarpon? That's, that's my first for a long time. Yeah? Since I've been in the States here, four years. He's from South yeah. Africa. Cap, dude, super cool, man. Thanks, whenever, job, uh, awesome. Thank you. When we put this whole trip together, whenever, when Clinton was telling me that he wanted to catch a tarpon, I was like, look, man, we really need to go down and see uh, Russ Keplinger. And this is the first time we've, I mean, I've Her talked head. to you and seen you around the, the docks all over the years but this is the first time we've ever fished together and really means a lot to me man oh man Thanks glad you can lot. make it finally yeah now let's go try to catch another one Tide's starting let's go beat him up as soon as we came here we got a bite missed him put him back out he caught one i love getting the bite like seeing the bite rip and drag fish jumps i mean to me that's the like look at this that's i'm soaking wet from the fish we just released y'all this is psycho. Millions of people in Dade County, yet we're smashing huge fish. Whew, so the wind really just picked up out of nowhere. I mean, it started blowing like 25 knots. So we ran in shore here, and we're gonna try to find some shelter in and around shadows. As you can see right behind me, that's Miami. So there are millions of people around here. Good thing is there's millions of fish also. So even under crazy conditions, we're still gonna find them. What he's looking for is structure, dirty water, and bait. So you hear me talk about, oh, there's millions of people here. The reason I bring that up is because we travel to spots where there's no people for nowhere. Yet the fishing is still amazing here. And that all has to do with conservation, regulations, and being able to enforce the laws. So Florida has a pretty darn good management plan. little guy. To me, it's all about the bite, getting that jump. It's kind of weird when there's a chick shadow dancing on the side of a building right next to you. And then you've got police cars rolling up. They heard deer meat for dinners in the house. Oh, God. Come here, boy. This is gonna be maybe impossible. But we're gonna try to catch him. I got a good hook set in this fish. He's gonna come. Talk about tight quarters. There's a boat right there. Come here, boy. I got you. I had, he was over here jumping, ran under the boat and jumped over there and uh, said goodbye. Nice fish. 
So we have a big issue. There's a road and a bridge right there, and we're using ultra light tackle. These fish get hit really hard. Lots of people fish for them. So to understand how to fish this bridge takes expertise and uh, a lot of luck. Dude, this is a nice one, bro. You upgraded. <laughs> oh, he just, just shook his head and changed angles on us. Oh! Why not when he jumps? It's amazing, like, to hear their power. You know, you don't just see it, you hear oh. it. It's like you hear the gills, you hear the splash. It's so awesome. Everyone should experience this. I don't want to lose this one. Oh, that's so awesome. Mm. That might be the sickest shot ever. How cool is this, Clint? Awesome. All right, just hold the line, don't touch the angle. Right, get angry. Oh, there he goes. Lock it in. With authority, grab him. Oh, nice release. Bro. Good nice job. That was so awesome. <laughs> this is one of my dear friends right here. This is Clinton Doyle. And to have the opportunity to come out here and watch you catch your first two tarpon, I, it's, we get to see it with our eyeballs, you know what I mean? We get to see it, but I wanna be able to capture it so y'all can see what we see. Dude, my bro, awesome yeah. stuff. Love you guys. This has been just a night to remember. What's that? That's like eight or nine bites. But to me, this is just the experience, seeing the skylights seeing all the big yachts and ships and people. This is what enjoying life is all about. We're not eating tarpon, but we are eating good, and we will see you at the house. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Oh my gosh, you guys, last night was absolutely amazing. Just seeing those tarpon blowing holes in the water and ripping drag is, is just, it makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. And I had so much fun. Clinton, so stoked that you got to catch your first tarpon. Captain Russ, thank you so much for making it happen. My plan was last night, I was gonna take some of his biggest jumbo live shrimp, bring him back here and then cook them. But I thought, I'm not gonna take his best bait. So I just went to the a local seafood market. I bought some nice shrimp, just like that. Now, first things first, we're cooking mac and cheese. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? Okay, Aria, I'm gonna show you a trick on how to clean shrimp. Take your shrimp and lay it out flat, just like that. And then we're gonna cut right down the center. Okay. Then it comes right out, a perfect half. Check it out, Olmeyer lemon. This is just so easy, you guys. I'm just trying to give this a nice little fresh smell. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so addicted to these things, but I am. Take some Meyer lemon, roll it all around, make it fall in love. This is like it's doing the two-step. It's dancing here, y'all. Now we're going very, very simple. See that? That's a block of sweet cream butter in the bucket. Put our shrimp right inside there. Just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Perfect. See how those shrimp are getting a nice little caramelized look from the toasted butter? And we're just gonna kill the heat on our shrimp. See that? All perfect. We're gonna take our mac and cheese, throw it right in there. Heck yeah. Look at that.
See that? What's better than mac and cheese? Mac and cheese with shrimp. Throw your shrimp right in there. Now, oh my goodness. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would you go through this and make mac and cheese with shrimp? Why would you do that? There's a reason. What do you got? Oh my goodness, look at this little creature. Wow, are you like a little supermodel or what? Look at that. Mac and cheese with shrimp. It's like you take the best food in the world and put the best additive you could ever put into it. Why would you do that? Oh my goodness. Emma, what is your favorite food? Um, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Can I have a spoon? You want a spoon? Absolutely. You can have a spoon or a fork. Dad, could you give me a spoon just like the fork? It is. Just try it with that. Okay. I'll try that. Okay, um, the... <laughs> is that good? Eat like a big girl. Come on. They have no idea what's going on here. I'm going to eat. Come on. I do not like this one. <laughs> you want a piece of shrimp? Emma, just try one little piece of the shrimp. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love it. I'm not lying, I love it. So everything that I said earlier was um, for not. They, I don't know. I thought I had a really good idea. Uh, moms and dads out there, drop a thumbs up if sometimes you try something and you think you're gonna be a hero and you wind up being a zero. But at least they got their mac and cheese. This was so much fun. But if you wanna go down there and you wanna see Miami and that, that beautiful landscape or cityscape from the water and catch big tarpon and have a great time, check out Captain Russell Keplinger. You can check him out on Facebook, on Instagram, all kinds of stuff. And the links will be in the description below. So fun one, had a great time, and I appreciate you riding shotgun. That's all we got for now though. Take care, God bless, and we are... Dad. Aww. <laughs>